A lawsuit has been filed against the Osceola County Sheriff and the deputies involved in a shooting at a Kissimmee Target that left one man dead and three others injured. West 2's Megan Mulatto spoke with the attorney representing those victims. She joins us live from the Sheriff's Office now. So, Megan, that attorney had a lot to say. Yeah, he certainly did. He says that he and his team believe that the actions of those deputies and the policies under Osceola County Sheriff Marco Lopez are what resulted in the death and injuries of the victims. Surveillance video from that night shows what led up to the shooting in April of last year that left 20-year-old Jaden Baez dead and three other men with him, Ian Joy, Joseph Lowe, and Michael Gomez injured. The group is accused of stealing Pokemon cards and a pizza from the store, were told a Target employee who noticed the robbery notified deputies who were conducting training exercises outside. The attorney representing the victims, Mark Nee James, says rather than arresting the four men, the deputies used them for, quote, training purposes. The lawsuit addresses those procedures and policies that he says resulted in the death and injuries. So we believe that the actions of the deputies and the policies, procedures, and protocols of Sheriff Lopez of Osceola County have been outrageous. We believe that they're unconstitutional. We believe that they're dangerous and that they need to be called to task for that. So the way we do that is you file a lawsuit and we're simply looking for the ends of justice to be served. In previous press conferences, Sheriff Lopez has said Baez, who was driving the car, rammed into sheriff's office vehicles while trying to get away, causing damages and injuries. He said deputies wearing vests with clear sheriff's office lettering on them warned the group to stop before the shooting. In a statement, Sheriff Lopez says in part, shortly after the incident, it was announced the individuals who damaged several police cars, caused injury to a deputy, and placed several other deputies in fear for their lives would be suing the Osceola County Sheriff's Office. He says this announcement is not unexpected and they look forward to the facts being told in a court of law. A grand jury will now decide whether those deputies who are involved in this case will be charged. The move to have a grand jury involved is part of a new policy announced by State Attorney Andrew Bain. We're live at the Osceola County Sheriff's Office. Megan Mulatto, WESH 2 News.